to self-diagnose where they should be spending their time and effort. So number one, which is the only one we say you should do in order, you can do any of these in whatever order you want, but you've got to start with direction. And direction is all about the team, not the organization, not the enterprise, the team. That team having a clear and meaningful team purpose and having a compelling vision and narrative to capture the hearts and minds of your people. And by that, we mean your staff, in our case at RMIT, our students, our stakeholders. What is the purpose of that team and what is the narrative? Then it's about focus. Does the team have shared values and principles reflected in the way the team members are behaving? Have they agreed priorities and goals for the right horizons? You know, are they are they thinking about the right, as in agile methodology, they talk about sprints or are the goals too lofty and extended? And that's sort of under that alignment area. Under collaborate, we talk about in number three, connection. And again, be reflecting on this minus five to plus five on where your team is at right now. So under connection, do you have healthy interpersonal trust amongst team members? Do you have strong partnering partnering relationships and practices? Does it happen dynamically or is it forced? And under synergy, are you really effectively collaboratively problem solving and co-creating or are you debating and judging? And are you really unlocking synergy in the team with decision-making? You know, synergistic decision-making is where the team nearly always outperforms any of the individuals in the room as they went about problem solving and making decisions. And then under learn, it's about number five and number six. First of all, number five, under awareness, is the team really open to reflecting and giving and receiving feedback and to challenge each other in safe ways? Have they adopted the ritual that at the end of any cycle or any meeting or any process, they, they carve out the time and commit the time to step back and, as we describe it, relentlessly debrief on what happened and what can we learn from what happened. And finally, as I mentioned before, one of my favorites right now, it's about tempo. Do we have the right disciplined operating rhythm and performance cycle cadence? And are we delivering the outcomes at pace through empowerment and accountability? Or are we going defensive and trying to lock down control and bureaucratize everything that's that's going on. And so 